Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you some of the rules of conjugates with complex numbers, and we're going to illustrate it with an example. So here we claim that the, if we take the conjugate of the sum of two complex numbers, and here are the two co complex numbers, z is 3 minus 4i, and w is 2 minus 5i. So if we first add them together, and then take the conjugate of that sum that is equal to the conjugate of, of z added to the conjugate, conjugate of w. And likewise, when we multiply two complex numbers together, when we first multiply them together and then take the, the conjugate of them, that is equal to the product of the conjugate of the two complex numbers. So let's try it with an example and see if that works. So first we're going to add the two together. So we're going to take 3 minus 4i and add it to 2 minus 5i and then take the conjugate of that. So that becomes equal to 3 plus 2 which is 5 and minus 4i minus 5i which is minus 9i and we take the conjugate of that and of course that turns into 5 plus 9i. Now let's compare that to the right side. On the right side we'll first take the conjugate of z that gives us 3 plus 4i, and we're going to add that to the conjugate of w, which is 2 plus 5i. And notice that this will be equal to 5 plus 9i, and sure enough, you can see that this is indeed equal to the left side, so we check that, and we can claim that when we first add the two complex numbers together, and then take the conjugate of that, that is equal to the sum of the conjugates of the two complex numbers. What about when we multiply them together? Well, let's go ahead and do that. We're first going to multiply the two together, and we get the following. On the left side, we get 3 minus 4i multiplied times 2 minus 5i. And as before, we first multiply 3 times 2, which gives us 6. 3 times a minus 15 gives us, or minus 5 gives us a minus 15i. Minus 4i times 2 gives us a minus 8i and minus 4i times a minus 5i gives us a positive 20i squared. Of course, that can be simplified to 6 minus 23i, and of course, i squared is a negative 1, so negative 1 times a positive 20 is negative 20, and this becomes minus 14 minus 23i. Of course, we want to take the conjugate of that, so when we take the conjugate of that, that becomes minus 14 plus 23i. And now we're going to see if that gives us the same result when we work this out on the right side. So this should equal the conjugate of z, which is 3 plus 4i, multiplied times the conjugate of w, which is 2 plus 5i. So we should get the same result as what we have over here. Let's try it and see what happens. This is equal to... It gives us 6 plus 15i plus 8i and plus 20i squared. Again, simplifying by combining these two together, 6 plus 23i, and then of course here we have i squared, that's a negative one, this becomes minus 20, which is equal to, that would be minus 14 plus 23i, and sure enough, minus 14 plus 23i. That is exactly the same what we had over here, so it looks like that works as well. So that means we can first add them together, multiply them together, together, and then take the conjugate of those, or we can simply add the conjugates and multiply the conjugates, and we get the exact same result. And that's how it's done.